James and the Giant Peach by Roald Dahl, illustrated by Nancy Ecom Burkett, published by Puffin Books, 1988. Are you a bookworm? Have you ever read James and the Giant Peach? Well, do you know who wrote this marvellous book? The author of this book is Roald Dahl. He's a short story writer, a poet, a screenwriter, and a fighter pilot. He won many awards for his writing. He became a children's writer when James and the Giant Peach was published. Among all the books I've read, only this book impressed me the most. I've read this book twice because it's magical and it has a happy ending. This storybook makes me very excited what would happen next. It made me cheerful when the bugs were silly. Centipede, who is worrying about his 42 pairs of boots, really funny bugs that makes my day. As the story begins, James Henry Trotter is a boy who lives with his parents in a house by the sea happily. James is a happy little boy until his parents are killed in a truly outrageous accident when he's four years old. An escaped rhinoceros from the zoo eats James's parents and he ends up with his two evil aunts, Spiker and Sponge. Instead of caring for him, they treat him badly, feed him improperly and force him to sleep on bare floorboards. They are truly hideous. And for three years, James became a very sad little boy. After James had been living with his aunt for three years, he meets a strange little man, gives James a pepper bag full of magic crystals, which the man says, James must stir into water and drink it if he wants to have wonderful things happen to him. In his excitement, James trips and spills the crystals on the roots of a withered old peach tree. Overnight, a peach the size of a house grows. When he crawled into the peach, he meets centipede, Miss Spider, Old Green Grasshopper, Earthworm, Ladybug, Glowworm, and Silkworm who became his friends. And before, you can say Peach Cobbler. The peach has broken loose, crushed the horrid aunts to death, and carried James away on a magical journey. Through sea and sky, James is swept by combination of cleverness, courage, and fairy tale gags. And on the good ship Peach, he makes the acquaintance of a group of giant sized talking clothesware wear bugs. The old green grasshopper, Miss Spider, Miss Ladybug, Miss Silkworm, the Earthworm, the Glowworm, and the Centipede who is constantly worrying about his 42 pairs of birds. Together, they see how the weather is made. They escape from sharks and they scare the daylights out of the good people of New York City. The massive peach lands on the spire of the Empire State Building. It is mistaken as a bomb at first, resulting in the arrival of police and firemen. Calming the crowd, James tells the whole story and becomes friends with many children in New York. And they eat the peach and James and his friends get their own jobs. I hope you can enjoy this book after watching my book review. Thank you.